Congratulations on your purchase of the whole house filter. This system works in two stages. First, any sediment is removed from the pre-filter. Next, it'll enter the media filter which removes any chemicals such as chlorine. This video will walk you through the installation process. The system will consist of the following parts. The CF plus tank, which is the carbon filter, the pre-filter housing, and the sediment filter that goes within it. A spanner wrench and a gasket and lube for the pre-filter. Two hose bib assembly adapters. And the mounting bracket for the pre-filter housing. The materials recommended to complete the installation will include two 1.5 inch T connectors, eight 1.5 inch elbows, four 1.5 inch adapters, three 1.5 inch PVC shutoff valves, one roll of plumber's tape, PVC primer and cement, and approximately 10 feet worth of 1.5 inch PVC pipe. 48 hours prior to installation, the carbon in the tank will need to be activated. This will be accomplished by filling the tank with water. Also note that due to the tank's weight, it is recommended to stage the tank near the installation area and to perform these next steps there. This is also why you've been provided with two hose bib adapters. This step is required for the large tank labeled CF+. Thread one of the hose bib adapters into the inlet side and then you will thread the other hose bib adapter into the outlet side of the tank. Go ahead and hand tighten for this step. Connect your garden hose from the spigot onto the inlet side of the tank. Connect another hose to the outlet side of the tank. The second hose will allow the water to run off away from your work area. The water to the spigot will then be turned on. Once you see water start exiting the other hose, you can go ahead and shut the water off to the spigot. The hoses and the hose bib adapters can now be removed from the CF Plus tank. You will then allow it to sit for 48 hours to activate the charcoal. The tanks will now need to be flushed after the media has been soaking for 48 hours. Once again, you will attach the hose bib adapters and attach the hose. You will be flushing water from the inlet out through the outlet. Run the water through the tank until it runs clear. Disconnect the incoming water supply from the inlet and reverse the connection so that the water is now running in the opposite direction. You will then once again run the water until it runs clear. The hose bib adapters can then be removed from the tank. The next steps in this video will feature the use of PVC pipes with slip connectors. Since the system is under pressure, you must use primer and cement when putting these connections together to avoid any type of leaks. And if you happen to be a DIYer, it's suggested to dry fit all of your pipe connections first and then glue them after you've got all of your cuts and connections made. Since this system doesn't come with a bypass valve, one will need to be assembled to allow easy maintenance of the system. As a reminder, be sure you shut off the water supply to the home before working with a pre-plumb. Prepare the connection area to allow for the installation of two elbows. To keep the system easily accessible, it's suggested that the bypass valve work its way up the wall. Therefore, the elbows will be installed pointing upwards. To connect them to the T's, it's suggested to use two 3-inch pieces of PVC. Go ahead and insert one into each of the elbows. Introduce one of the T connectors and install it so one of the connections is facing inwards and the other facing up. A piece of PVC that extends about a third of the way to the other side will now be introduced into the T connector. This will be followed with the installation of a valve between the two connectors. A T connector will now be introduced into the opposite side, one of the connections facing inwards and one facing up. Measure the gap to close the connection and then introduce a piece of PVC to complete this loop. Two more 3 inch pieces of PVC will now be introduced onto the other side of the T connectors. At this point, the other shutoff valves can be introduced at the end of those pieces, but take a moment to consider whether the valves are too high up. In this particular example, the height will be limited, so elbows will need to be installed facing outwards. This will be followed by another 3 inch piece of PVC. An elbow and another short piece of PVC will be added to the opposite side. A PVC shutoff valve will now be installed on both sides. 
this will successfully complete the assembly of the bypass. When the valves are positioned to turn the bypass off, water will flow freely through your system. If you switch the valves and turn on the bypass, water will only flow through the bypass and not through your system. This will allow for easy maintenance. Another part of the system that has to be prepped prior to install is the pre-filter. Begin by unscrewing the top by turning it counterclockwise. Inside the tank, you will find the gasket and the lube that's required for this step. Locate the sediment filter that was shipped in in another box. It will seat onto a nipple that's found on the inside of the pre-filter housing. The sediment filter will drop into place when it's fully seated. There is a groove along the top of the pre-filter housing that will receive the gasket that was provided. Begin by simply laying the gasket into the groove. The provided lubricant will now be applied to one side of the gasket and then smoothed out using your finger. Once completed, flip the gasket and repeat the process on the opposite side. The lid of the pre-filter will now be replaced. And note that there are guides that will help the sediment filter properly align while you screw the top back on. Two of the 1.5 inch adapters will now be installed onto the pre-filter. However, you will first need to wrap the threads with plumber's tape to ensure that they don't leak. Align the threads and fully tighten the adapter as tight as possible by hand. From there, use a wrench to ensure that it's fully tightened. This will prevent any leaks. Repeat these steps to install an adapter on the opposite side of the pre-filter. The pre-filter has now been successfully prepped. Your pre-filter will now be mounted using the provided bracket. And note that it's suggested to align the pre-filter so that the connections are in alignment with the tanks. Due to the weight, you will need to mount the bracket to a stud. Once you identify the optimal location, go ahead and mark out the holes to be pre-drilled. A 3 16 drill bit can then be used to pre-drill the holes for the mounting bracket. Locate the bag of the provided bolts and washers, and then use a half-inch socket to secure the bracket to the wall. Before mounting the pre-filter to the bracket, take a look at the top to identify the inlet and outlet direction of the water to ensure that it's being properly oriented. It will then be secured to the bracket with four of the provided bolts. The incoming water flow from the bypass valve will now need to be connected to the pre-filter. Measure a length of pipe to align with the connection on the pre-filter and allow room for the elbow. That piece will then be connected to the shutoff valve. Install an elbow and then point it towards the connection on the pre-filter. Another length of PVC will now be measured to reach the pre-filter. That piece will then be installed into the elbow. This will be followed up with another elbow pointing into the pre-filter. Finally, measure the final piece to complete the connection. At this point, your connections should look like this. We are now ready to connect the CF Plus tank to the system. You will need to install two 1.5 inch adapters, but first be sure to wrap the threads with plumber's tape. Begin by hand tightening the adapters by hand and then fully tighten them using a wrench. Measure a length of pipe to reach between the pre-filter and the CF Plus tank. You will then install that piece of PVC to bridge from the inlet side on the CF Plus carbon tank to the outlet port on the pre-filter. We will now build a connection from the other side of the bypass into the tank. Insert a 3 inch piece of PVC into the valve followed by an elbow pointing in the direction of the outlet on the CF Plus tank. Measure two lengths of PVC, one from the tank and one from the elbow. Insert that piece of PVC leading from the elbow towards the tank. You will then follow that with the installation of an elbow pointing towards the other connection. The gap between the outlet port on the CF Plus tank and the elbow that you just installed will now be bridged. Your system should look similar to this after all of the connections have been seated. If you dry fit your system, be sure that you primer and cement all of the connections before attempting to turn on the water. You will also need to fully tighten the tank on the pre-filter using the provided spanner wrench. There is a space in the mounting bracket that will be used to store the spanner wrench. The final step in your installation will be to test your system. While the water is still turned off to the home, turn on the cold water all the way in one of the bathtubs. 
also ensure that the bypass is activated in the system. The water main to the home can then be turned back on. Allow the water to run for a few minutes and inspect your bypass for any leaks. From there, you will go ahead and shut off the bypass, and then you will turn on the valves that are leading in and out from the system. The water flow will now begin to run through your system. Allow time for the system to charge and inspect for any leaks. Allow the water to run through the system for 5 to 10 minutes. And also note that it's normal to see a small amount of sediment exiting the system during this time. Congratulations, your installation is now complete.